Welcome to my channel. The part one of a oscillator, we have discussed the oscillator basics, phase shift oscillator, and also a wind bridge oscillator. The first will multi operator we are going to discuss in this video, its circuit and operation with the waveform, and followed by a triangular wave generation circuit and its waveform. A stable circuit oscillates between two states high and low indefinitely. No external trigger pulse is required. Simply it will move from plus V set to minus V set, minus V set to plus V set. There is a reason it is called as free running. The input to the adjustable multi vibrator is a DC. Output what we get is a plus V sat and minus V saturation. A circuit diagram of a stable multi vibrator using op amp and its voltage response are shown in the next slide. The circuit diagram we have a positive feedback as well as a negative. We have a capacitor and this is a waveform. Now we are going to discuss the operation of a stable multi vibrator circuit. Based on VID, the difference between the V1 and V2, the op amp will be either plus V side or minus V saturation. Initially, the charge of a capacitor we assume equal to 0, and hence V2 is 0, voltage across the capacitor is 0. V1 is a small voltage, depending upon the output, whether it is a plus V set or minus V set, some voltage is there at the V1. And now VID becomes a V1. Now C acts as a short circuit. So let us imagine it, it is a no charge. Now it is a plus V start. And uh, we have a near to VCC output of the operational amplifier. Now C starts charging through the R. This capacitor starts charging through the resistor. From zero, it will start charging towards the voltage plus V set. When V2 becomes greater than V1, when V2 becomes greater than V1, now this is more. Now it is a positive. This is an inverting. Output will become what? Minus V saturation. You got output as a minus V saturation and uh, V1 equation is given by R1 by R1 plus R2. Now it is a minus V saturation is a output of a operational amplifier. So this is a V1, V2, V2 becomes more than V1, output becomes minus V sat. Now output remains negative, capacitor discharges up to zero, then it will start charging in the opposite direction. When output of a capacitor becomes minus V2 becomes more than minus V1. So this is a minus V2 becomes more. This is a minus V2. This is an inverting terminal. The output becomes plus V saturation. And the V1 now given by R1 by R1 plus R2 plus V saturation. The total time period for one cycle is given by 2RC ln of 2R1 plus R2 whole divided by R2. All of us know integrator converts the square wave into triangular waveform. A separate video is uploaded already in the YouTube channel. And a stable multi vibrator output if I give it to the integrator means I am giving a square wave as an input to the integrator output will be what? Triangular waveform. Now this square wave output is given to the Integrator will get a triangular waveform. Reference is Ramakant, a Gayakwad. For more information, you can visit these links. Thanks for watching this video. Share this video if you like and subscribe this channel. Thank you.